morning I've just been sitting here editing some images and I noticed that this blackbird keeps coming to that shrub right outside there and eating the red berries that are on it and I'd really like to get a close-up of a blackbird eating one of those red berries. So let's head outside, put up a hide as close as I can get to it and try and get some shots of it. So I'm just going to head out in the garden and put a little pop-up hide next to that little shrub and hopefully I'll attract the blackbirds back to it. There's a lot more red berries to get. What's great about these blackbirds is that now in the winter they switch to a, more of a vegetarian uh, base so that that will enable them to actually stay here in the UK when it gets colder and they can't eat invertebrates, earthworms like they usually do. They'll change their diet and they start eating berries like this. It's a really nice image to get because it gives you a little bit of a sense of what they're eating, so a sense of their environment and ecology. One thing I need to tell you though is that since I made the, uh, the video on the monal hide, I've actually started working with Tragopon. I really do like their products, but I'm not going to be reviewing them anymore. I don't think that's fair. Uh, as I work with them and I've actually been given their whole product range to play around with and I'll also be making some videos for them on their YouTube channel using the product. If you want to check out some of those videos head over to the Tragopon channel I'll put a link in the description below. So I'm just going to use this hide here it's the Tragopon V Plus hide and it just it pops right up it's a really fast one to erect anywhere and I'll try and put this as close as I can and I might head back inside to do some more work, but I'll keep an eye on this to see if the blackbirds are bothered by this thing right next to them. And if they're not, I'll head back out, I'll sit down in it, and I'll wait to get that image. Final check, I'm just going to get my lens and I'm going to see what kind of a shallow depth of field I can get when we're up at the hide. If it's not right, I may just move it a little bit. I'm shooting with the Canon 7D and i got my 7200 on it. Uh, my long lens, my 150-600 for repairs, something wrong with the focusing. So this is all I have now, but to be honest, this is what I would want to use for this type of shot anyway. I want to get really close. I want to have a shallow depth of field. All right, I think this just about works, but I think it might actually be a little bit too close. So I'm going to move it a little bit further back because I want to be able to use the lens at 200 mil so that I can blur out the background as much as possible. All right, hide a setup, put my chair in there. I'm just going to go in, make a cup of coffee, edit some more images. I'll keep an eye on that. Once I see the blackbirds are still happy going there feeding, I'll head back out. Now that only took about 15 minutes before the blackbird was back on that bush. So apparently they're not very bothered with the hide sitting right next to them. Great for me, so I'm gonna head back out there and try and catch them when they're back on it. now and blackbird has come on the bush a couple of times it's the last time i got a couple of shots of him but he's 
just as he finished feeding, he, was, he kept turning as he was sitting on the opposite side of the bush, picked a berry, and then turned away from the camera to eat it. So after sitting in the blind for almost an hour this morning, every time the blackbird has come to this little shrub, it's been on the other side of the shrub. Now, I don't know if that's because the hide is putting it off or if it's just this preferred branches to go on. But anyways, I've moved the height a little bit so that to give me a better view. So hopefully if it comes back now, I should get a shot. <laughs> Let's try again. Amazing. Only minutes after I put the hide a little bit around, Blackbird came, jumped up onto the side, and I managed to get a good few shots of it. I was shooting in slow burst mode so as not to disturb too much, and I kept very often missing that first um, first shot when he actually took the berry. Uh, I did that so I didn't want to disturb it, but I changed it to high burst mode now so that if it comes again, I'll get even more. I'm shooting 2.8, but this, this shallow depth of field, it's so shallow that sometimes I would get the berry in focus and its eyes would be completely blurred. So I'm going to experiment putting that uh, f stop up to 3.5. Alright, it is time to wrap this video up. I've been out here way too long. I only got the opportunity to capture the blackbird a couple of times. I'd say it was definitely worth it. And I'd much rather have a couple of really good shots of a blackbird doing like a behavior, doing something like this, actually eating some of these red berries, than loads of average shot of me just walking around trying to shoot stuff that's usually too far away. One of the reasons why I just kept going was that I had, I had really cool weather today. I had rain, I had a little bit of sun, I had overcast. It was just a lot of variety. Even though I only got a couple of captures of the Blackbird today, I really enjoyed it. And I want to say thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, please hit subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.